Wait, um, I don't know how loud I should talk because I just got this camera, and um, I don't know how the sound exactly works on this thing. But anyway, I thought I'd test it out and I'd uh, do a little kind of a summer favorite kind of thing. So let's get started. All right, first of all, freaking love this thing. It's a Elf Complexion Perfection Pattern. You guys see that? The green so used up. Oh my god. Uh, it's uh, best to put it on before you do your foundation because I have a lot of redness in my face. And uh, yeah, it helps kind of tame it a little bit because the redness is just pretty awful. I'm not totally sure what these colors do, like the red and pink. But I know the yellow and green are for redness. I'll have to look it up again. I really don't remember. I got this moisturizer at, I think it's Dollar Tree. It's the St. Ives Nuing Collagen Elastin. You know, they uh, put it in the product list a lot in my videos. And I think it does a pretty good job. Like, I don't really know a whole lot of moisturizers out there. Um, but definitely like the sun, so I kind of ramble a little bit. I'm kind of messing with the mirror behind my camera. But I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, I did. I've had a lot of trouble with foundations in the past because um, I kind of got a late start on makeup, especially foundation. And uh, I didn't realize that I could get a color lighter than ivory because I kept trying um, ivory and it was too dark for my skin. And I was like, are you kidding me? This is the lightest color, yet it's so freaking dark. It just looks kind of yellow and not, very not good. And then I kind of came across this and uh, one of the local dollar stores, even though there's a lot of more stuff in there that was more than a dollar, but that rambling. And it was the uh, L'Oreal True Match, and I kind of came across that, and I noticed that it was in porcelain, and that it was much lighter than ivory. I was like, oh, I better try this. It's like nine bucks, so I still couldn't believe that, but this is the True Match Blendable. I use the Fit Me Foundation a lot now, because I I feel like it works a little better, but this is what I used first. And I think it's pretty amazing. Watch it for you guys, you know. I don't know if that'd be kind of fun looking at it. It's blending so well. Look at that. It really is super blendable. And before I got my trusty dusty um, foundation brush, I used to use these cosmetic wedges. I still do kind of use them, just to kind of if I get my face is a little freaky, I'll use these to kind of tame it a little bit, but they were pretty nifty. They were, uh, I think they're latex free. Yeah, they're latex free. Which is good for you guys who are allergic to it. I have a friend who is actually allergic to it, so I know this would be good for her. All you do is you just wet it and you blend your foundation with it. Pretty simple. Love this thing. Yeah. Powered in face thing. Like, I don't really, I kind of got a late start with blushes too. I didn't really use them at first. Mostly I used eyeshadow, mascara, and uh, uh, eyeliner <laughs> for a while. But I got this from Elf. This is Tickled Pink. I kind of like this color. I find mauve looks really great on um, pale skin like mine. Especially if you don't overdo it. It's just like a slight mauve tint. It's not what I used today though. I used uh, a different one today. But I use this one the majority of the time and I think it's pretty amazing. Watch it for you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, kind of a little sheer. Where's the thing you go? Yeah, it's a little sheer, but you know, works very, very well. Love Elf Cosmetics. Love it! <laughs> so I'm so excited to have sound finally. So I don't have to just play a whole bunch of music in the background and just kind of subtitle everything. Anyway, um, oh, my eyeshadow color is so long. I completely forgot to get it out. I got, I've used this in pretty much all my videos so far. Um, I lost the thing to it, but this came from the Makeup Geek site, which is pretty amazing. You can get, like, name brand stuff for pretty cheap. Like, Marlene is amazing. I love this video. <laughs> but yeah, like, <clears throat> if you want a palette that's, like, super duper pigmented, I mean, dude, look at that. Barely touched it. Amazing. And like the black on there. This 
coffee, what's shipping and handling, like maybe uh, twenty forty dollars I think? Like, I think it's like $18.99 on the site. I don't really remember. It's been a while. But this is pretty amazing. I got this after I got my big old elf palette. And although I did love that palette, I guess there were a few shadows in there that simply didn't work. Like, uh, especially the black on there. I could, I would just rub my finger on it like really, really hard and I would get next to nothing. And which was a big old shame. I love elf cosmetics and I hate having to say that about that. And I love elf, but that palette it to work, but, but it does have some pretty good shadows in it, so if you don't mind having a few that don't work, I would definitely recommend them. That one's only like $10 at Target, and on the website it's $10, too. Alright. Now, Not lip liner. Eyeliner. Huh. This one I've been using, I think since like spring. It's a, uh, just wet and wild, uh, black eyeliner. And I have quite a few black eyeliners. They're pretty cheap ones, but I find that I always come back to this one. What's that? My little dog shit. Lots of stuff. So I have a, uh, mechan not mechanical one, but, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll get it out. <laughs> I have this one. This is actually the same brand, but I find this one works significantly better, which is kind of fun. This is a mega last too, which actually does last all day, but and it has a little smudgy thing. But I definitely prefer this one. Yeah. This one I've I've used in all my videos so far. I actually need to get a new one. It's getting kind of a little bit spooky. But this is Lash Less Volume, and this is like of all the mascaras I've used thus far, this is definitely my favorite. Although I do want to like uh, I don't want to branch out and try different ones because. I'm still kind of on the hunt for like a great, great, great eyeliner, uh, not eyeliner mascara. <laughs> like, I'm so excited to go down. I'm just rambling and tripping over my words. But yeah, I'm looking, still looking for like a really great mascara. <laughs> my phone almost dropped up. Um, yeah. There's the bristles on it. These the standard plastic ones. I'm thinking about going back to just the wire bristles. Because, uh, when I still had, uh, mascara with wire bristles, I still wasn't I didn't really know how to apply mascara that well. I didn't know you could just like shake your lashes, not shake your lashes, but shake it in there and fill them like so it wouldn't clump this bad and it would separate. And so I just moved on to plastic brushes and that while this does look well, I really want to go back to a wire one. I want to try the Maybelline false too, but it seems like it'd be amazing. Thing. But yeah, this stuff definitely works well. That's what I have on today. I have like two, three coats on it. Love it. Alright, I'm going like, oh, eye primer. Um, I've been using this one a lot lately, it's the e.l.f. one. I think this cost me like a dollar, that was it. Because, like, I'm poor. <laughs> and, uh, because I, uh, actually made my own, I found, like, a website where you, uh, they tell you, like, a mixture to use that would actually really work as eye primer, and it does, but I find that it actually creases after a while, and this one, the e.l.f. one, hasn't creased on me yet, actually. I'll show you the one that I made. And they say to use liquid foundation, liquid concealer, and body butter, but I don't actually have any concealer. Shame on me. I quit looking at camera. <laughs> but yeah, this is... I use... What did I use? I think I used the uh, L'Oreal foundation that I showed you guys. This is the eye primer that I was using for a while. But I find that I just like Elf better. And this will increase after quite a bit. So. And on to lips now. I'm not sick, but I've been using everything. This one's just like a little lip liner um, that I use a lot with, a, with my pinup lips and stuff. I think I use this one in my pinup video, actually. This is the Moisture Extreme Maybelline Lip Liner. I think I actually got this at a flea market, believe it or not. Um, it was unused, completely unused. I won't buy used makeup at a flea market because that's just Years, or just use me in general, but uh, they actually, the one I go to is in town every once in a while, and uh, this is brand new, like a lot of people that sell makeup there will sell it brand, brand new, and this one works really well, and there's another supermarket out of town that I get makeup, that I get makeup at sometimes too, one of them that I can use too that I got
Actually, yeah, I got this one over there, Mark. I didn't. This is, there's an Avon lady that hangs out there, so, and she sold me this for like three bucks, I think. And this is Red 2000. Very, very clean. I freaking love it. This is my go-to red lipstick now. It's that amazing. And another one I actually bought at the same time. I bought this one at the exact same time I bought the lipstick. This is Avon Glazewear Sparkle Lip Gloss. It's got a teeny tiny bit of color and now it's been used it so many times on other lipsticks. It's very, very glittery. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got lip color all over it. But yeah, this stuff is insane. Liquid glitter if you want to glam. Um, one. I bought this, I actually have a dollar store brand now. Because since I don't really make a whole lot, I do tend to shop at dollar stores for makeup. And this one literally cost me a dollar. This is Moxie. It's a L'Oreal High, high Intensity Pigment Collection. It's a really, it's really nice. It's a bit of a shiny mauve. And I, that's like my favorite lip color ever. So it just kind of goes with everything, I've noticed. So definitely during the summer I wanted this like it was no big business. And last but not least, I'm trying to hurry through this so I don't like uh, go over like 15 minutes or anything and just having to make parts like I did with the Lydia tutorial. I really should have paid more attention to the time on that one, but anywho, I got this for a dollar at Target. I think I got it like about a month ago. I've actually used a lot, quite a bit of it. And I actually have it on my lips now. It's over the, uh, kiss lipstick that I used in the trigger tutorial. And it's just kind of a nice, uh, kind of a corally color, really. What's the name of it? It is Blossom. Um, it's very, very sheer too. Like a, I think a lot of the Hyper Shines are. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really tried any other Hyper Shine yet, but this one is incredibly sheer. And I don't know if you can see it. I had to watch it quite a few times. See you see it? I have it right over this. And I like to wear it just by itself too, because I never thought that coily colors would actually look good on me, but I kind of they kind of do. So I've been using this a lot the last few months too. And my hand is so dirty now. Just popping things for you guys. I'm just nice like that. Uh, I think that's really about it. Uh, these are just things that I've been wearing a lot all summer. And I just really wanted to test this camera out because I don't know if I'm speaking loud enough. Because uh, I don't really play with it that much. I got this like a couple days ago. So hopefully I can mess with it on the uh, movie maker thingy when I edit it and turn off the sound it's too quiet. But anyway, I'm rambling so I shall go. Thanks you guys for watching my videos and everything and thank you so much to my subscribers. You guys are amazing! And I will see you in the next video.